But in general, <coughs> yes, you can follow a madhab. And who said you can't? Yani, people who study in Medina, in Munawwar, or any Sharia school, they grab a certain madhab and they teach it. For example, in Medina, they study the Hanbali madhab. Ibn Taymiyyah, rahmatullah alayh, was a Maliki. Ibn Taymiyyah, rahmatullah was a Maliki. However, there's a small difference, and you know what I'm about to say. Nobody, no one, not a single being, no matter how knowledge they are, how knowledgeable they are, is to be followed blindly, without some investigations, with whatever you have ability to investigate in. So if you are an old grandmother, who does not know how to read and write, doesn't understand anything but goats and sheep as she was raised, then it is sufficient for her for a sheikh who is trustworthy and seems to be sincere. And you can see the signs on him. And he constantly says Quran and Sunnah, Hadith. For her just to say, Ya Shaykh, is this allowed? And he says, yes, that's it. That's enough for her. However, someone, I give an example of myself, for example. I consider myself a student of knowledge. And I'm able to read Arabic and research in some Hadiths and read what scholars have commented on certain Hadiths that are fabricated and so on. I have to go to that link. Where I stop, I stop. And then I choose a certain... Yani, if, I, if, if it's not clear, and it's yani, rare to be not clear, if it's something is very unclear and there is a, a, uh, yani, a, a difference of opinion, then you follow what your heart is content with to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or you can go back to the madhab until you find... Something which is greater evidence. Yani if I come to you right now and I say a hadith, and this hadith is sahih, and it's in Bukhari, and it's very clear as the sun, and you have understood it, and then you say to me, but my madhab says something else, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to follow that. Then my dear brother or sister, yani unfortunately, and with, I say it as it is, you have made that madhab your prophet. You have made Malik or Hanbali or Abu Hanifa your prophet. Because they themselves are innocent from that. They say, don't, don't follow us blindly. If the hadith is, is sahih and sah, then it is our madhab. This is what we've been trying to do. Which means that they lack some knowledge. Sometimes not all the hadith have, have been brought to them. In time of Bukhari, he was after Imam Abu Hanifa, for example. There were hadiths he, he discovered that still existed and were sahih and they didn't know of them. So it's not a condition, my dear sisters and brothers.